We're in the studio now with Dr. Yulin Wong, the Vice President of the ATA. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. So let's start with talking about what some of the highlights have been for you in this past year and for telemedicine, really. Well, I think the, the first thing which is uh, worth mentioning is the field of telemedicine is growing like crazy. So that creates a tremendous amount of excitement. That creates a tremendous amount of excitement for the telemedicine field, the ATA, for companies like InTouch Health. Um, it's, it's, so that's probably one of the, the big themes of last year is the rapid growth. It's really being driven by healthcare reform and the desire to develop, uh, improve our healthcare system so that we can have higher quality care, so everybody can act, have access to it and how to drive costs down. So that's kind of the, th the big theme of what's happened over the last year on, on a personal side. Uh, at my company, InTouch Health, we've been working on some brand new technologies which have just hit the market at the beginning of this year. So that was being worked on all last year. We have this new iPad interface to our telemedicine systems. We have a new robot called RP Vita, which we joint developed with a, a company called iRobot. So there's a lot of exciting things. Tell us a little bit about that robot and what it does. So RP Vita is a uh, we think of it as a revolutionary new robot. The, the main thing is that it has uh, what we call environmental awareness. So it can actually, it senses its environment. If it was here, it would know that you're in front of it. If, it's, uh, it, it, if people are walking around it, it understands that there are people around it. And because of its environmental awareness, it can get from one place to another by itself. And so through a, so a clinician, through an iPad interface can just say, hey, go there, go to, go to Mr. Jones or go to bed three, and the RP Vita knows how to get there automatically. That is pretty remarkable. Now, everyone knows you as a pioneer in robotics, so let's talk a little more generally about how that's affecting telemedicine. Sure, yeah, so telemedicine uh, is, I, I think it's in the early stages of transforming healthcare delivery as a whole. I think that it, the telemedicine, ATA is actually celebrating our 20th anniversary this year. So it's been going for a while, but its roots are really for bringing expertise to rural places or underdeveloped areas where your, the idea is to bring um, expertise where it's hard to get. But the concept of telemedicine can actually become even more fundamental to healthcare delivery as a whole. And as we're trying to improve quality and reduce cost at the same time, it's possible to use telemedicine just in the core delivery of, of healthcare at, as a whole. And this is where uh, some of the robotics comes in. So when, the, with, when you can actually get a person to be remotely present somewhere else where they can mimic the workflow as if they were there in person, like go to the nurse's station, go to the patient's bedside, round with a team of people, if you can do all these things but not really be there, um, then you can actually improve kind of just the core delivery of healthcare in general. And, and, and all of that capability is enabled through robotics. That is so exciting, isn't it? Yeah. Well, and tomorrow you're on a panel talking about surgical robotics as well. So let's talk a little bit about that. Sure. Sure. Sur so surgical robotics. Um, is really uh, what the panel is actually about surgical collaboration and, uh, and uh, proctoring and mentoring as the terms are. So the idea, so in, in surgery, there's constant advancement. There's new people being trained, there's new technologies, new procedures always being invented. So how do you get surgeons up safely and effectively up on these new procedures and new technologies? And, and so, because the operating room is really an isolated place, you're, you're in there by yourself. So what if you can actually bring expertise in from afar? What if, the, what if you're learning a new procedure and the world expert who's on the other side of the world can help you in the, through the first few? So that's what surgical uh, collabor uh, robotics collaboration is all about, is to allow the cross-sharing of best practices of surgical technique from afar. 
That's really amazing stuff. Thank you so much for taking the time to share with us. Well, thanks for having me.